Welcome to lecture two in the module on uh, hypothesis testing. Uh, in this lecture, we're going to examine the first step in doing an hypothesis test, and that is writing the null hypothesis. Ho, 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 and it isn't even Christmas. A hypothesis is a claim, and for our purposes, the claim is always made about the population. A claim about a population is called the null hypothesis HO. Now, keep in mind that every manufacturer out there with some sort of product, everybody with some sort of service, everyone on the face of the earth can make a claim about a population. The claim is called a hypothesis. An hypothesis is a claim which may or may not be true. You will recall that a law is always true, but a hypothesis is a conjecture. And for our case, the null hypothesis is the conjecture about the population which we will choose to examine. For example, a manufacturer claims that a new car gets 32 miles per gallon, and this is a hypothesis put in place by the manufacturer concerning the population of new automobiles. Those of you that have gone out to buy a car have been told, well, this car will get 50 miles a gallon, this car will get 18 miles a gallon, this car will get 37 miles a gallon. All of those claims which are made by car manufacturers regarding the miles per gallon of their vehicles could be classified as a, each could be classified as a null hypothesis. In this case, the manufacturer claims the car will get 32 miles per gallon, so we will use that as our null hypothesis. For that particular claim, we might uh, word our null hypothesis like this. We would say H0 mu equals 32. So that's our null hypothesis. For another example, a life insurance company claims that the average life of a male is 73.2 years. Our challenge is to put this hypothesis into a format appropriate to test the hypothesis. We might word our null hypothesis like this, H0 mu equals 73.2. Now don't let this, the way that this null hypothesis is wording, worded elude you. First of all, H0, HO stands for the null hypothesis. This is the initial claim which is to be examined. Then you will notice that we have the letter mu. Mu stands for the mean of the population. So our hypothesis is, is that the population mean equals some value. This is called a null hypothesis. And our challenge will be to examine that null hypothesis. Writing of the null hypothesis is always the first step to conducting a hypothesis test. You will obtain the null hypothesis from the wording of the problem. Uh, I gave you two examples before, but then you would read your problem. You're looking to see what the claim is, and that's step one, the null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis is going to be H0, it will be worded that way, that mu equals some value and that value will be obtained from the wording of the problem that you read. Remember that the null hypothesis is the original claim to be evaluated. So guess what guys, if you set out on a six step plan to conduct a hypothesis test, you've just solved step one. Step one is the writing of the null hypothesis. And in our case, it's going to be H0, and it's going to say that the population mean mu equals some value. And you would obtain that value from reading the problem in question. Welcome to the dog cave here at Texas A&M University Commerce. And as you embark upon this uh, task of learning to do hypothesis testing, keep in mind we're going to walk one step at a time. And the first step is to be able to write the null hypothesis. Hang on, some interesting things are coming up. Have a good day.